Now, where might this delivery be? Oh, shit! I'm sure it's very important, but we can't accept these without the proper permits! By the twelve, surely these can't all be... Oh, bleeding hellfire! They're bringing him by sea and by fucking air! All these forks and crates! Arr! And there be more on the way, me hearties! Got your adamantite right here! A bigger haul than any of these sorry bastards brought, and that's no lie. Ha! <laughs> Gosh! And that's because you were charged with seeing the shipments from Gridania and Uldar on your own. Give credit where bloody credit is due. That sounds like the sorry whingin' of a sore loser, and a hypocrite to boot. Ain't no way a scrawny whelp like you took a dozen steps inside Talamud Shard. I'll have you know, I went all the way to the bloody entrance. I played a vital role in keeping a lookout while our expeditionary forces secured the adamantite. Girl, left you outside so you wouldn't get anyone killed, did they? Well then, credit where credit is due. You did a right fine job of fucking a boot. <gasps> Gosh. Such banter. Hmm. It's rather amusing. <gasps> what, oh, what a grand welcome party, la! What you saw there? Hancock and Sorban. We come bearing relics both sacred and Singaporean, la, as well as a few other gifts that may be of help, la, to be presented with best wishes from the Eastern Alliance already. Hmm. And I myself have come with a sacred relic of the Kojin. Upon learning of your need, Bunshin bade me deliver it on behalf of the Blue with, like, all haste, bro. Soka. Fearing I could not swim without the necessary speed, however, I thought I was going to beg the Confederates for aid. To my delight, Hancock was, like, already preparing for departure at the same port, bro, and he had, like, Heaps of pizza, dude! Of course we did, la! We need quite the impressive vessel to get here in time already. Hmm. I mean, that's all wonderful to hear, but what of the extraordinary cost? I shudder to think of the ransom we must pay for such a bounty. Ha 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 Why are you so like they are? Lord Lolorito looks ever towards the profits of the future La, and thus the East Aldenard Trading Company went to some lengths to reduce the financial liability already. And since the Scions funded the entire venture, not one gill was need to be rendered up in compensation. It is all yours La! Talking cock La. We funded the venture? Uh, when? <laughs> Don't let the name fool you. This coin keeper knows a thing or two about uh, finances. I'm walking here. When it comes to capital investiture, a sprinkling of gill here and there will not do. You need enough savings to make waves when it really counts. That's why frugality is paramount. We also had the benefit of a generous patron. Generous being rather an uh, understatement. She has supported us from the shadows since the very founding of the Scions, before we even had coffers to fill. Mother! Oh shit. Oh fuck. The millions. Oh! I 
remain, of course, an entirely neutral party. I simply thought our family's coffers were needlessly full. We can hardly take them with us on our teeny tiny boat, can we? And it would be a shame to leave all that hard-earned wealth unspent. Oh, you! Oh, God. Women. Always spending my money. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm Thancred. Here's me looking at things. However did you manage so much in such a short time? We expected word to reach only a fraction of our allies. Did I not tell you that I have my ways? <gasps> Erinvile! You were involved too! Of course I bloody was. I received a letter from Croyal after we parted ways in Labyrinthos. She explained what the Scions are trying to accomplish. Why you might soon require the service of the Gleaners. Spread across the world as we are. I pray that you don't interpret this as a betrayal of Charlayan. I accept that the Forum's aim, in pushing us to our limits, was to preserve what knowledge that we have. And I bear you no ill will for that. However, in collecting that knowledge, what I came to appreciate the most under our star is that there is a lot that remains that we don't know. That's why I chose to help the Scions, to combat the obliteration of those countless undiscovered wonders. I hold no illusions that they be less demanding taskmasters, but rest assured, if I had, I would have been sorely disappointed. Hmm. To make a long story short, the whole of the guild ship cooperated to ensure that your call was heard far and wide. Oh, fuck. So, what's this about a ship that can fly to the moon? Sorka! And why didn't you mention it sooner? The one time you don't beg my aid, your problem's a bloody ship that can fly to the moon. Sid! You brought the fucking team. You fucking dickhead. Of course I fucking did. Girl on Iron Works finest. You did only point us to my new favorite ship. <gasps> I nearly forgot. We stopped by Whirlit before coming here. We picked up a package from Gaius. He's still of the mind that actions make for better penance and words. Contrite or otherwise. So we offered none of the latter. What he sent as an elegant relic that Valens used in his weapons experiments. There's a fair bit of refined adamantite in it as well. And as like, won't you not, you know? <laughs> Fuck! As like is not suspect, we also brought adamantite from Mordona's Dalamard Shard. Look, I admit, you fucking minge. I had some consternation upon re first receiving Kral's message. So few fucking scions remain at the Rising Stones now. Far too few for such a fucking expedition. However, the Gleaners were able to secure us some bloody reinforcements. Edelshire's treasure hunters, not the least among them. Fascinating as this all fucking is, I fail to see how it can. Oh fuck! Alright, listen up, you cunts. Even though this is fucking fascinating, I fail to see how this explains your presence here. Does Razadan not have more fucking pressing concerns? We do. Yet averting the final days would be the most expedient solution. That, and I am indebted to you. Though they chose to take their leave of Thavnea, those you saved in Garlemort remain my people. My gratitude is beyond words. It is appropriate I aid you in kind, if in the doing we bring salvation to others of this star, so much the better. You will recall that I spoke of my father, Nigasomnia, 
and his journey across the great expanse. As he traveled betwixt the stars, his resplendent scales drank of the ether and those nigh empty surrounds, imparted to him the strength to persevere. Thinking they might further your cause, I called out to my kin for consent. Adaja's answer was silence, as ever. Tiamat and Herez Velgar, however, responded favorably to the suggestion. My sire, too, stirred from his slumber long enough to speak and say, Very well. Thus, I have brought you his own warm scale. Fit them to your purpose. Seek a worthier fate for us all. You'd be hard pressed to find someone else so familiar with the unique properties of dragon scales, so I invited myself along. Well, fuck me! A Scottish elephant! I've got a fucking raging erection! <laughs> well, fuck me! This is so unbelievable! I've gone right back around to believing it again! Forget a 6% gain in efficiency. With all these goodies, we could get seven, no, no, fucking 14 fucking percent! Cunt! Think of how far we could go with what we could do with that much power. What the fuck, we could blow up! If Coco is duly convinced, then it must be true. In which case, the Scion's end of the bargain has been fulfilled. Would you not agree? Yes, father? I know not what you seek of Hydaelyn, nor for what purpose you would take command of our ship. Yet this much is certain. To do so will be to dictate the fate of this star and the lives upon it. The lives of each and every creature, in all their magnitude, and all their fragility. Do you understand? And are you prepared? We've seen and we've felt how much each life shapes this world. And so we are determined to abandon none. We understand what is at stake. We're prepared to bear this burden. Then, I'm sorry, my children. I will bear it with you. I beg you, share your struggles with me, as family. Dear Summer. You grasped my fingers with such tiny hands the day you were born. I thought my heart might burst. Twas love and happiness beyond expression. Overwhelming. A conviction so powerful that I trembled with something close to rage. I'd heard the final tales foretold. Swore to myself then that I would not let them steal your futures. Well, a great exodus would succeed, it must succeed. No sacrifice or sin was worse than the alternative. If anything gave me pause, it was mine own father. The Archon Lucoir openly decried Charlene's policies, a perspective which 
I regarded with increasing disdain as I grew older. Yet, even as part of me thought him a fool, perhaps I also hoped that he, of all people, would devise a brilliant means to save my children. A naive hope, but stubborn enough that I could never bring myself to keep you apart. Not that... <laughs> no. That was his doing, when he perished at Cartonneau. As we pulled that twisted slab of Dalamud from the sea, I remember the warmth of your newborn touch. Chastened, I vowed never again to suffer any interference in my mission to protect you. No matter that you yourselves wished otherwise. Detest me. Fight me tooth and nail. I would suffer it more and be satisfied so long as I could force you onto that ship. I was wrong. You two have grown so much stronger and so much wiser than I dared to dream. You've earned the right to walk your own path. You've already begun to do so. Good. Because there, there are things we care about and people we love. None of them are replaceable. Not one. It cannot have been an easy journey for you to come so far. We shall be... I'm sorry, that's my line, Father. Shut up. <clears throat> We shall be glad to acquaint you with the finer details someday, once this danger is past. All that we've seen and heard, and all that we've felt and learned in our travels. Ours is not a kind world, but it is beautiful. Always. Oh! Are you sure that's wise? After all, someone turns pale and flees the room when he sees so much as an envelope containing words of your adventures. Whatever will happen if he learns what you were really up to? A million! Damn it, woman. <laughs> Lol, mum and dad. What a couple of boomers. <clears throat> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Though I have wronged my children most gravely, I owe you an apology as well. I assumed it was the Scion's influence that made them so keen to charge headlong into danger. Yours, in particular. I see now that said influence instead brought them together with the many fine people who I see gathered here today. In which case, I hope that you continue to guide them. Deal, Summer! Well, fuck me. If we finish fucking about, I suggest we put our bloody plans into motion. People are starting to look confused. Perhaps you can spare a few words before they resume the tedious lugging of cargo. You've no small number of friends and admirers here, after all. Soka. Sawarado. Shotaro! Mukata Koronoka! Ah, yes! Many sounds of approval! Your assistance is appreciated. Now, in an orderly fashion, if you please.
Oh my god, what a scene. What a scene, what a scene. Holy shit, I love that. I loved every second of that. That felt amazing to do.